Hello everybody, this is Stringing in here for part 2 of the last 16 round. So we've got 4 more matches to go before the quarterfinals begin. And yes, only 3 videos left after this one till we crown a winner. Right, in this session we're going to see our host Stranger Gamer going up against Xeno Slick Goku. Mom taking on the champ Diddy Darius. Asta going up against Dino Hunter. And then Shin Dominus taking on Chain Knight. Right, without further ado, let's get on with this first match, shall we? Well, honestly, it's gonna take something special to beat part one, because that was insane. Ooh, interesting. The Alpha Reader. In the red corner for the hosts, we have got the Mega Raptor. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Our hosts enjoy a strong tournament. But did make it difficult against Carnotaurus, man. But I suppose knockout matches are meant to be diff more difficult. Backing up the Megs, so we got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus, which has definitely earned its dough in this tournament. It's looked really good. Actually, I'm really surprised with how well this Tarbosaurus has done. Really good. And it's probably going to need to pull its weight in this match as well. Because in the red blue corner for Monsieur Zeno, we have got. I guess. Yeah, this is the big threat here. He's got all fire moves. He's got a type advantage. And he's probably the reason why Zeno is a slight favourite in this match. But, Zeno has been very inconsistent in this tournament. And in the knockout round, you can't afford to be inconsistent. And I do think that's going to cost him. Not necessarily today, but in, in future matches. It will probably cost them. Backing up the Gygus, we got the Uatmocephalus. Right, and our Mega Raptor does have Quick Strike, so we will be going for Skizzers. Oh, the crit! That's not good. That's not good. That's going to do even more damage. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to do more damage than that. Uh, let's check when we swap. Okay, we swap at the same time. Ooh, the host is getting a hit back on the board though. That was a good crit from Xeno. Oh, the crit! Ooh, I get a crit. It's a neck crusher. Which is not affected by type disadvantage, which is, which is why I used it to deal with fire dinosaurs. Look at this! Tarbosaurus earning his dough again. A Gygus goes down. Ooh, I like that. I approve of that. See, this is exa that's exactly why I have friggin' new Tarbosaurus in my team. To get chip up, do chip damage. But it is Zeno getting a crucial crit on the board there. I mean, we have the hosts have the lead, but Xeno's not that far behind. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, it's gonna be big. Ooh, dodge the bullet there, Xeno. Dodge a massive bullet. That crit would have been devastating. And now we are well level packing because the Tarbo gets hit. Could that be the turning point? Well, since this Tarbo is Blitz type, we will be going for the Firebomb. Will we get it? Oh, we got it! A Tubu dive! I'm sure Xeno will be glad that Yoplacephalus got off two defense boosts, because it's gonna need that. Okay, yeah, defense boost definitely made a difference there. Ah, oh, I wanted the triple wham whammy, damn it. <laughs> But I'll take a crit. Oh, is that it for Zeno? A volcano burst will end it. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, wow. This Uopnocephalus could probably take another hit, but the odds are I'll probably get off a dive or a volt burst, so Zeno needs to get this hit. Oh, and he doesn't. That's game over. <laughs> game over for Zeno. Oh, and he didn't survive. And the Tarbosaurus, wow, proving it's worth again. Phenomenal from Tarbosaurus. 
and it's our hosts going through to the quarterfinals. As for Zeno, well, commiserations. We'll say commiserations to Zeno. They like that was an even. That was such an even head to head. It could have gone either way. I bet you, if I did this match another ten times, we probably win five each. You know, it's just one of those kind of matches. But unfortunately for Zeno, it went the way of our host. And well, can can I win it? Can I win my own tournament again? <laughs> right. Let's move on to our next matchup to find out who my opponent will be. Oh, I mean victim. Well, I think we could be in for a close match. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> in the red corner for Monsieur Mard, we have got a T-Rex with terrain advantage. Oh, wow. Well, it would have got off a crit anyway, but it's going to get a crit off because... Diddy Darius' first dinosaur has terrain disadvantage. Backing up the T-Rex, we got Brontekins. Man enjoying a strong tournament so far. Well, if Man does get through, which based on this field looks highly likely, that's going to be a very bad matchup for our hosts. Well, in the blue corner for Diddy Darius, we got Kentrosaurus, and this probably will be the end of the line for our chap, Diddy Darius. This Kentrosaurus will have terrain disadvantage. It's going to get hit with a crit first. So, yeah, not good. The champ might actually have to pull its weight this time. Right. Man swaps when HP is below half. Did he Darius in the yellow? So yeah, Kentrosaurus will probably be swapping out right away. That's if Man even lets it. But you know, let's see how this plays out. Oh, oh, he's got Dino stuff. <laughs> how many times? How many times do I forget Dino stuff? Well, that's a vital, that could be a vital dino stuffer there for Diddy. And we are on a level playing field. Who <laughs> went for the crit again, but this time Diddy Darius stops it. And again off a of Venom Fag as well. Our champ Diddy Darius starting well, despite the terrain disadvantage. Ooh, going for the crit again. Oh, he hasn't learned, man. He hasn't learned. Another Venom Fang. Man, trying to spam them crits, but it's not worked so far. And now might actually be in trouble. Can he swap this T-Rex out? You can get a swap here. Going for the crit again. Oh, he gets it this time! Crucial crit from Marn. Getting the swap out, saving that T-Rex for another day. Ooh. What's Diddy Darius doing? Keep going, scissors, dude, you were winning! Oh, look at that! Kentrosaurus goes down, and all of a sudden, things look getting much rosier for Marn. Did he get a crit of his own? Shant's crit is a potent force indeed. We are in a situation though, where if the Shant is on low enough health, the T-Rex could come in with terrain advantage and kill it. Ooh, almost forgot to swap it out then, but it was a tie anyway. Go for the swap again. Oh, he gets it! A light recovery to come. Could that be crucial for Mark? In comes the T-Rex. It will get the next hit because of the terrain advantage. But that's all the swapping that Mark will be doing. Does that guarantee Man's victory? Is our champ Diddy Darius going out? 
Okay, so if you go in rock. Oh, it's game over for Diddy! Oh, it's game over for Diddy Darius, the champ is bowing out! And it is Man's victory in this match. And let's be honest, given the terrain and that, you know, not not really a surprise. But yeah, Man going through to set up a quarterfinal match against the hosts. As for Diddy Darius, well, they won't be winning it this time, bowing out at the court at the last 16. Right then, let's move on to our third match. Right then, the surprise match that we didn't expect. Ooh, okay. Okay, this might... Okay, this is a good field for Dino Hunter more than Aster, but it's a good field for both of them actually, because they both have water dinosaurs. Right, in the red corner for Aster, we got a Decreosaurus. Aster surprising us all with an impressive win against Try in the last 32 round. And in my opinion, was the performance of the last 32 rounds. Backing up the Decreosaurus, we got the Anata Titan with terrain disadvantage, so this could be a problem for Aster. And Dino and, and the Aloatrox does have the type advantage over the Anata Titan as well. So I think this does make Dino into the favour. Speak of the devil, in the blue corner we got Spinosaurus. Dino Hunter also enjoying a, a victory in the last 32 rounds against Drogon Targaryen the third, which was unexpected, to say the least. Not as big of a surprise as Aster beating Try, but was still an unexpected result. Backing up the Spino, we got the Aatrox. It's going to have type advantage over that Anata Titan. And should it come in to face the Anata Titan, it'll also get a hit because the Anata Titan has terrain disadvantage. Right, let's see who wins this contest. I think the Chrysaurus has Ocean Panic. Another tie. Oh, has a crit and it's heroic type, so that crit's gonna do a lot of damage. Jeez, I did do a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, um, Dino Hunter swaps when HP's in the red, as does Aster. Oh, this is bad for Aster, because he's got to attempt to swap, and when a Nata Titan comes in, he's going to get he's gonna get hit by a crit from the Spino, because the Spino has terrain advantage. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, it's Aster Jabba. That's okay. <laughs> Good hit, though. Good hit from Aster. And swapping out with that Krillosaurus could be crucial, but... Yeah... Big problem though is that Dino Hunter gets to swap out his Spino too. Because of the terrain advantage that the Anata disadvantage that the Anata Titan has. Right, right, back to normal though. <laughs> Ooh, that's to get the next hit on the board. But yeah, look how much damage it does. Not much. Ooh, that's a tie. Got green impulse. Ties might help you not a Titan, yeah? But going for scissors is definitely a no-no. Got away with that one. Got away with that one too. Alright, time to swap you not a Titan out. Another tie! Oh, here comes the green impulse! This could be a good this could be a good hit here from Aster and, and in fact the Nata Titan is doing well against the Atrox. A Hughes as well. Wow, this is a really tight contest. Okay, yeah, so since the Nata Titan since I was technically a tie, we'll still attempt to swap out for both of them. Oh Briz! Aster getting the swap! Which actually cancels the terrain advantage that Dino Hunter would have had if the Spino came in. That's a big move from Aster there. Big momentum swing, and that definitely puts them in the driving seat now. 
Or does it? Because when the Anata Titan comes back in, the Spino will get the hit anyway, so... While technically Asta has two Dinos to Dino Hunter's one, Dino Hunter will kill the Anata Titan easily. Right, it's all on this now. Oh, it's a tie! Ooh, Dino Hunter gets the next hit! It's, if this is a sex... Oh, it's a five, is that lethal? Oh, it's lethal! It's game over for Asta, because Dino Hunter gets the crit because of the terrain advantage. And that's all she wrote for Asta. Terrain advantage, giving Dino Hunter the win and a place in the quarterfinals. Is this their tournament? Well, I'm sure that these two in the upcoming match will have something to say about that, because whoever wins will face Dino Hunter in the quarterfinals. So let's find out who that person will be. Right then, let's conclude the last 16. Ooh. Oh, that's actually... Ooh. A mixed field if you cheer knights. Right, in the red corner for Shin Dominus, we have got Eocarcaria. Shin Dominus impressing in their win against Dino Hug in the last 32 to get here. And might fancy themselves in this in this on this field. Right, let's see what Eeyore Raptor becomes. Ooh, Lambiosaurus. Interesting. Right, Shin Dominus swaps when HP's in the red. Sigoid! Right, for Cheer Knights in the blue corner, we got a Margosaurus with terrain disadvantage, so it will get hit first. But let's be honest, I think it'll be the Stegosaurus doing most of the work this time. Cheer Knights enjoying a very strong tournament thus far. And continuing that in the knockout rounds. Backing up the Amargosaurus, we got Stegosaurus. With terrain advantage. So yeah, mixed field if you're Cheer Knights. But, we'll see who can take best, who can take advantage of the terrain the best. Right, first things first. Shin Dominus gets the crit. Well, the hit is a tail smash. Boosh, boosh. Oop, that's a tie. But tie suit the Margosaurus in his charge type. He's got the tie attack. Ooh, but the Eocarcaria gets a neck crusher. This is a strong start from Shin Dominus. Ooh, oh, oh, yep, yeah, healing up all that tieage. Very good start from Shin Dominus. But not a good start for Cheer Knights. Ooh, but does get a swap. A crit on the board and a swap and to boot. And the Stegosaurus will get a crit because it has terrain advantage. So I think this will be curtains for Eocarcaria. Cheer Knight's turning it around instantly. See, now that's called making good use of your terrain advantage. You tag out the weak link, you get the Steg in to get the crit on the Eocar, and you finish the job. And now the Eoraptor's got to come in. Good, good terrain advantage usage there by Chainups. Taking a decisive lead. And now faces a fragile Eoraptor. Ooh, gets another hit on the board. Well, it was a good start from Shin Dominus, but Chain Knights has definitely turned the screw in this match. Especially with that. Alright, so, ooh. Chain Knights can win the match here. If he gets a crit. Oh, and he does! Yeah, that's game. Game over for Shin Dominus. And it's Chain Knights going through to the quarterfinals. And yet, yeah, made, made perfect use of their terrain advantage.
really strong display from Cheer Knights. Well, they're on the easier side of the draw. Can they go all the way? Right, let's have a look at how our quarterfinal matches line up and we can end the session. Well, that is our quarterfinal lineup, ladies and gentlemen. Straight our host, Stranger Gamer, going up against Marn. That's going to be a really, really tough match for our host. Marn will have type advantage over their entire team, and, well, T Rex and Brontekins as well. Daunting ask, daunting ask. Out of all these guys, the one person I probably didn't want to face was Marn. But, you know. If you, got, if you want to win a tournament, you got to face tough opposition eventually. <laughs> you can't ease your way to a final. <coughs> Dragon Destroyer. Right, and speaking of this side, we'll have Dino Hunter going up against Cheer Knight. Now that could be a tasty encounter indeed. Dino Hunter just about getting the win over Asta in the last 16 round. Commiserations to Asta, of course. But yeah, that's going to end the session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the quarterfinals. And until then, ta-ta!